is a CBS News special report. Hello to you. I'm Gail King in New York with Josh Elliott and John Dickerson. President-elect Donald Trump's White House meeting with President Obama has just ended. The two men met privately. Cameras were briefly allowed inside, and we are moments away from seeing that video. Major Garrett is at the White House. Major, good morning. Or good afternoon. morning. Good afternoon, yeah. actually. About, a, about an hour and 30 minutes, the two met. And the president described it as an excellent meeting. And the foundation of this meeting was to make sure the transition between President-elect Donald Trump and the president of the United States, Barack Obama, is a smooth one. And that when Donald Trump arrives as the 45th president of the United States, that transition has adequately prepared him and his White House staff for the challenges ahead. In his remarks, we are told from the White House pool, President-elect Trump described the president as a fine man and said as he is president, he would turn to President Obama for advice and counsel. Gail, back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Major. CBS News political director and Face the Nation moderator John Dickerson is with us, at, with us at the table. One hour and 31 minutes. Seems like a long meeting. Yeah, you can't just do the small talk for no. that period of time. Every time Barack Obama says president-elect or Mr. President-elect, it moves one frame further from the campaign and more into moving Donald Trump into the job of the presidency. And you can see Barack Obama working hard. And, you know, he said very, something very similar to President George W. Bush, I'm going to call on you mm -hmm. whenever I need it. George W. Bush said, you'll be getting enough advice when you're in office. And a wide-ranging meeting suggests a, a number of things touched upon. We know foreign and domestic policy of two of them. Josh, the video of the meeting is just in. Let's take is just in. Let's take a look. Ready? Okay. Well, I just had uh, the opportunity to have an excellent conversation with President-elect Trump. Uh, it was wide-ranging. We talked about some of the organizational issues uh, in setting up the White House. We talked about foreign policy. We talked about domestic policy. Uh, and as I said last night. My number one priority in the coming two months is to try to facilitate a transition that ensures our president-elect is successful. Uh, and uh, I have been very encouraged by the, uh, I think, interest in president-elect president uh, Trump's uh, wanting to work with my team around uh, many of the issues that this great country faces, and uh, I believe that it is important for all of us, regardless of party uh, and regardless of political preferences, uh, to now come together, work together, to deal with uh, the many challenges that we face. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, Michelle has had a chance to uh, greet the incoming First Lady, and uh, we had uh, uh, an excellent uh, conversation with her as well, and we want to make sure that they feel welcome uh, as they prepare uh, to make this transition. And most of all, uh, I want to uh, emphasize to you, uh, Mr. President-elect, that, uh, that we now are going to uh, want to do everything we can to help you succeed, because if you succeed, then the country succeeds. Please. Well, thank you very much, President Obama. Um, this was a meeting that was going to last for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and uh, we were just going to get to know each other. We had never met each other. Uh, I have great respect. Uh, the meeting lasted for almost an hour and a half, and it could have, as far as I'm concerned, it could, could have gone on for a lot longer. We really um, we discussed a lot of different situations, some wonderful and some difficulties. Um, I very much look forward to dealing with the President in the future, including counsel. Uh, he's uh, he explained some of the difficulties, some of the the high flying assets and some of the some of the really great things that have been achieved. Uh, so Mr. President, it was a great honor being with you and I look forward to being with you many, many more times in the future. Thank you, sir. Start it's always the last one. Come on, guys. Yeah, come on, guys. Let's 
Francisco. Very, very good man. Thank you, guys. Good man. Appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Over the very distracting camera clicks, that was President Obama and President-elect Trump at their historic meeting at the White House. John Dickerson is with us once again. I thought it was interesting that President Obama says right away, good advice, don't, don't answer any questions right away. <laughs> yeah, news you can use yes. to the new president. George W. Bush's same equivalent <laughs> to that was to tell Barack Obama, get hand sanitizer because you're going to shake a lot of hands. Donald Trump was at pains there repeatedly. He said he has great respect. It was a great honor. Then at the end, to get a word in, the last word was not about Donald Trump, but about the president. Very yes. good man. Very good man. Yes. He said twice. Yes. Think of all of the things that he has said during the campaign and then for that five years where he said he was not a legitimate president. Uh, this is a, uh, an attempt to turn the page and have a very different kind of moment. He started that th on Tuesday night, an attempt to turn the page. He was very conciliatory. And he said, uh, Donald Trump said this was scheduled, perhaps to, could have gone just 10 to 15 minutes. But we went almost an hour and a half. It could have gone much longer. Uh, yeah. Well, there's a lot going on in the world. I thought it was interesting. Also, high-flying assets. There's a man from the uh, real estate. And he said he would seek his counsel. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. Mm -hmm. I thought that that was interesting. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Our coverage will continue throughout the day. Meanwhile, here on the CBS station and on our 24-hour streaming network, CBSN, there will be a complete wrap-up as well tonight on the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. This has been a CBS News Special Report. I am Gail King with John Dickerson and Josh Elliott, CBS News New York. For news 24 hours a day, go to CBS.